Hey guys, Lego World War II Reviews here, and today I am going to be reviewing the Eclipse Graphics Hunter Redux figure. So, let's get started. So, first off, I'm going to start with the card here. Just move the figure out of the way. And, um, the card is like a glossy printed card, as, you know, always with Eclipse Graphics' printed stuff. So... It says, it has a picture, like a 3D render of the figure, and then at the start, or at the top, it says, Clips Graphics for all your custom Lego needs, and then it has his logo, and then there's just the Hunter, and then it says Hunter Redux, www.eclipsegraphics.com, you can buy one on there, I'll put a link in the description. And then on the back, it says collect all three, because there are three variants. I got the one in the middle, but you can also get the one to the right or the one to the left, which they come in different skin tones, so yeah, um, just a warning label and his logo again. So we'll set that off in the background, and now we'll get onto this figure. So first I want to start with the things that he comes with, like his accessories. So first he comes with a... Brick Arms Combat Knife. Let me just focus the camera here. So, oh, hold on. Let me just put auto focus on. Alright, so there is the uh, Combat Knife in silver. I'm not sure. Well, I think different accessories come with the different skin tones, but this one came with a shotgun, a brown saber shotgun, and a brick arms combat knife and silver. So those are the accessories. And then he also comes with a um, olive green, I believe, M1 pot helmet. So, yeah. And first, we'll just take a look at his head print, which that is a very cool, you know, face printing there. No back head printing. But that's okay. And the front torso printing looks just amazing, like with the dog tags and the pouches there, along with like the sort of suspenders. But yeah, that's just amazing. And it's got side arm printing on both sides. And also something you can you maybe notice is that it's got under the arm printing which just is absolutely amazing. It's even got like the skin printed on there. But yeah, that is really amazing. There's the back printing with more pouches and everything. So yeah, this figure is really good. I uh, yeah. But uh here's the leg printing. I just reposition my lights, but yeah, it's got sort of like a, uh, a tiger camo, I guess you could say, or at least on this one. And then the different ones have different torso printing and everything, and different legs, and different colors and everything, so that's pretty cool. On literally all sides, even the belt printing on this side as well. And it even goes inside the legs, which is amazing. But, yeah. Also, one thing that I thought I should include in this review is mine came with a case, but then again, I got mine at Brick Fair, Alabama, so yours might not come with a case, or, I mean, not a case, but a stand, sorry. Yours might not come with a stand, like mine did, but, yeah, I'll just go ahead and put on all of his accessories so you guys can see. That's what he looks like with guns and everything on him. So yeah, this figure is a really good figure. Uh, once again, I'll put a link in the description for you to buy him. He cost about $25, I believe, and it's very really worth it to get this figure just with all the amount of printing that's on it. It's just absolutely amazing. So once again, I'll put a link to, in the description to where you can buy this figure, and Eclipse Graphics has a lot of cool other things on his website such as like soda cans and everything but yeah I might do a review of those later but 
yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.